Try it. Morning, Louie. How you doing? Yeah, I'm all good. What are you up to? Oh, just a little bit of last minute splicing, you know. It's uh, plenty of work on these things. You know, it's um, it's a pretty classic trade winds uh, start getting out of here. You know, just a couple hours uh, upwind around the end of the island and then uh, off reaching for us with the fro. Uh, and the full main, so that'll be uh, that'll be pretty exciting for the first two days of sailing out of here or so, and then the questions sort of begin as the as you transition out of the trade winds into the Azores High, associated ridges due to low pressure and everything. You know, we feel like um, the models don't really line up at the moment. It could be that you have uh, no wind near Bermuda, or it could be that you still have 10 to 12 knots near Bermuda, which is what we would prefer. Imagine if we get there first and stop, the little boats are going to catch us pretty easily. Um, so we're definitely looking for the uh, for that ridge to remain a bit further north or just to not appear at all. But, um, you know, the European model is generally very accurate and it's saying that we're going to have a pretty, pretty heavy light patch up there. So we'll see how things pan out. All we can do is go as fast as possible and, and try to get there, you know. And uh, fast as possible, that run, 20 knots, beam reach, what, what, could, what should Warrior be doing? 25. Yeah, this, this with the trim tab, we're we're going uh, when we're reaching, we're between three and four knots over wind speed usually, so the boat will be pretty lit up.